Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to edit and style a gallery. We'll start by editing the content, then move on to editing the gallery style, including image size, margins and template. We'll also show you how to add captions to your images. Once you're on your gallery page, click Edit Images. In the editing menu, click on Change Content, then on Add Images and select files from your computer. We'll upload four photos. These images have been added to our library and pre-selected. Click on Use Selected Items to place them at the top of the gallery. Next, we'll rearrange the photos. You can do this by clicking Edit Images or right-clicking to open the editing menu. Choose Change Content then drag and drop the pictures to rearrange them. Now, if you look at the gallery, the photos are arranged in the order we selected. You're not stuck with the initial template you chose. To change it, click Edit Images, and then Template. You'll see the template you're currently using listed along with others. Feel free to experiment and select a new one like Dynamic Grid, which we'll choose now. Let's adjust the image size and margins. Click Edit Images, then Styles. Here, you can adjust the item size. Let's see how it affects this gallery. OK, we'll pick size 3. You can also edit the margins between photos. Add features like shadows, rounded corners, and borders. You might want to add titles, subtitles and descriptions to each photo. Click Edit Images, then Change Content, and select an image. A menu will appear where you can add a title, subtitle and description. We'll also prepare an SEO title, which we'll discuss in a future video. Once done, repeat these steps for each image. Now let's see how they display. When you select a photo, you can see the title and subtitle. To edit their position, click Edit Images, go to Styles, and under Titles, you can choose another position. We'll select Bottom. We won't focus on titles now, we'll hide them, but you can experiment with this feature to enhance the description of your images. If you click on an image, it will open in a light box. The image's description will appear there. Under the lightbox settings, you can decide how images are displayed when clicked. You can change the template to a slideshow or vertical layout. We'll stick with the slideshow. Here you can choose animations, caption placements and whether images should cover the screen. You can also decide to disable the light box. If your gallery includes videos, you can access video settings from the Styles menu. You can also adjust the gallery's top and bottom margins. And select animations. That wraps up today's session. In our next video, we'll show you how to compile several galleries into a portfolio page. Stay tuned.